This is One on One. We're now joined by uh, Kevin Cummings, the chairman and the CEO of Investors Bank. Good to speak to you, Kevin. Good morning, Steve. How are you doing through these times? Difficult times. We're taping on the 8th of April. We'll be seen after. Let's put this in perspective, the role of banks today, but more importantly, the role of banks moving forward, May, June, July, August, in getting our economy back on its feet. The banks are going to be the conduit between the government and the private sector. And never before have banks been more important to the economy. You know, the first, the last recession back in 2008 and 2009 was a financial recession. Bank was a four letter word. Today, we have an opportunity to improve our brand, to improve, to really make a difference in the communities that we serve. And it's very important for us to step up, partner with not-for-profits, partner with the, the government sector, and really help our communities through this crisis. It's I've interesting never you say that. More engaged in my life, to be honest with you, Steve. Follow up on that. Never more engaged. What does that mean, Kevin? The adrenaline flowing in this organization is unbelievable. It's it's almost like it's a war, and and I think the 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 level of commitment that we have from our teams, you know, each week is a different battle. The first week was customer concern, technology, work at home. What were we going to do in the branches? Controlling the fear, you know, some people were truly fearful and, and talking people off the ledge. And then moving forward, we had, you know, some of the uh, things that we're doing with the SBA. We actually did a merger last weekend. We I read about that. Well, how yeah. are you doing that in the middle of, we're again, we're taping out, I want to disclose, the 8th of April. You did a merger in the middle of this? Exactly. With, you know, stock prices, you know, falling, you know, anywhere from 30 to 35 percent. Uh, we were able to get the transaction done, hold the legal structure of the transaction together, you know, assure the employees and the shareholders of the other company uh, that it was still a great transaction. And we moved forward, consummated the transaction, did a system conversion and got everything done through the weekend. So, you know, I'm very proud of our team, but more importantly, it's what we're doing in the community. As part of that transaction, uh, we made a $100,000 donation to Stony Brook uh, University Hospital. Uh, they're putting together a thousand, 1,038, I don't know where they got the extra 38 beds from, but a 1,038 bed hospital on the university's uh, football field. And we're partnering with them to help them, to help the healthcare workers, the doctors, who are really the true heroes of this uh, crisis. To Kevin Cummings' point, again, we are taping when we are. This will be seen in May, June, after. Kevin, let me ask you this. Again, the role of banks is one thing, supporting nonprofits, including us, including the Montclair Film Festival, so many others, very important. We're going to talk separately with you in a, in a leadership special that we're doing in our Lessons in Leadership series. Let me ask you, how has leadership for you changed in this crisis and will change moving forward? Well, it's not about me, that's for sure. It's listening better uh, and, and getting a whole bunch of opinions and then moving the team forward. You know, when this first started, I was a little bit uh, laid back about it. I said, look, it's not gonna be that bad. You know, in early March, late February, that's when our pandemic team started to, to, to uh, pull together. And I thought some people were overreacting uh, at, at that time. And I tried to calm them down and said, look, we're not going to close the bank. We got to move forward. We got to service our customers, you know, customer first. That was my attitude all the time. And then it gradually, you know, you had to listen to the other voices in the room who were concerned, you know, about our employees and how do we deal and safeguard our employees. So it's a combination of, of everything, our customer service, but really protecting our employees because without our employees, we can't help the customers. So really we shifted a little bit early on, just in, in as, this, as things got more and more serious. And I tell you, you know, listening and hearing all the people in the room, getting all the points of view is so very important at this time. We're speaking with Kevin Cummings of uh, Investors Bank. Let me ask you this, Kevin, long-term, again, program seeing later. How do you believe banking and the interaction, the relationship between banks and customers will change long-term, not just in the crisis, but moving forward over the next six months, eight months, a year, how do you think it'll change? Well, certainly having a good community bank 
and one that is with you through these difficult times is going to be much, much more important. And I hope the customers have long memories, you know, and they don't forget who was standing with them during these troubling times. Secondly, I think the digital platform and the use of, of, uh, of, of digital uh, products, uh, cash payments, the apps, and things like that are going to become much more important because they've been forced into this situation as of now. So, you know, in the future, the branch role versus the digital role, I think it's going to accelerate it even more so now that we've had to live through this situation. The connection between government, the Small Business Administration, a lot of the grants, the loans, et cetera, going through the banks, how challenging working with the federal and the state government so far? Well, I tell you, working with Governor Murphy, uh, you know, we spoke with his office. Uh, one of his staff gave us a call, a gentleman named Joe Kelly. And even before they made the announcement on the deferral of uh, loan payments for residential uh, borrowers, we were talking with them. And I said, look, it's not a matter of, of like the state bank or other issues that we might disagree on. It's really an issue of doing the right thing. And the right thing is to help your customers, to help them through this time. It's a three-month deferral. So we were in full agreement. Many of the banks, the community banks and the large banks signed up for it right away. And the governor made that announcement you know, last weekend. And I think it was well-received and it was a good private-public uh, uh, partnership to help the communities, to help the borrowers in the state of New Jersey. On the federal level, the, you know, the SBA, that bill was signed 10 days ago. And As we do this program 10 days ago, is that to actually move forward, Kevin? It, it has been difficult, but, you know, people are all working hard on both sides of the fence. We're working hard. We're trying to assure our customers, you know, to be calm, you know, working with the SBA as, you know, it's, a, it's an organization that has issued probably 30 billion, 35 billion a year. And here we are asking them to do 30, 349 billion in six weeks. So we have, we're, we're beseeching our customers to be patient. We're working with the government. It's teamwork now. It's everyone pulling together for, for the good of the community, the good of the customers, to keep this country strong. I tell our employees, this is our time. It's an essential service. Uh, Winston Churchill said it best. Fear is a reaction. Courage is a decision. And we have to be courageous during this period of time and be confident that we will get through it and assure our customers and the communities that we serve that we'll get through this. Kevin Cummings from Investors Bank, thank you for everything you do, particularly for nonprofits um, moving forward. We'll continue the conversation. Thank you, my friend. Take care, Kevin. Okay, Steve. Have a great day. We'll be right back right after this. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation. Funding has been provided by the Healthcare Foundation of New Jersey, the Russell Berry Foundation, Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, New Jersey Board of Public Utilities, Clean Energy Program, New Jersey Sharing Network, the New Jersey Economic Development Authority, Kessler Foundation, the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, and by Summit City MD. Promotional support provided by Insider NJ and by the New Jersey Business and Industry Association. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.